Good morning, everyone. My house is in like such disarray right now. Our plumbing stopped working. Here comes the dog. Our plumbing stopped working on Sunday, or it didn't stop working. It just started getting backed up and you'd have to plunge like the tub and the sink because there was a clog somewhere down the line. And we had a plumber come to try to do it for our... Hey, there's someone sleeping on the couch. We had the plumber come and try to fix it with our home warranty. And they said, hey, we can't do it, but we're going to take your hundred bucks. Um, uh, if you want us to do it, it's going to be like $457 starting. Or you can do it yourself. So, yeah, <laughs> we decided to do it ourselves. So right now I'm sitting in the living room with a toilet in the middle of the living room, which is like weird and crazy. We started, I guess Xavier started snaking the lines from the toilet yesterday because he can't find the clean out outside. And so we have to look for that today. We have to finish snaking the toilet because I think he did um, a really good job yesterday because the toilet in the, our bathroom's working. But we wanna just make sure since we have the snake right now that it works, that we got it all. So we got a snake the bathroom we got a snake the um there's a pipe on the roof he wants to snake too so we got to get all that done by 11 23 when this machine needs to be returned and then all this needs to get put away and then yesterday i had this like um super secret event that i had to go to that i had to sign an nda for but um, I had to go back to the apartment then to take a shower because you couldn't take a shower here. And uh, all that stuff's here too. So this place is a total disaster. There's a kid underneath those pillows. I don't know if they'll move again for you to see them. Stick out a foot. Don't, don't, don't wake him up. He's wild. And then there's a toilet right here in the middle of my living room. Because, yeah, that's cool. That's my basket with uh, everything I brought to the apartment to um, do. That's some stuff that came from the apartment. There's, like, the wire from the snake. I mean, seriously. Those are towels. This is the dog stuff. That came from the apartment. Like, stuff came, like, the last few things came from the apartment, too. So, the house is just a total disaster. But at least right now we have one working toilet and uh, a toilet in the living room. Oh, I think I saw movement. You see a foot there? There's a foot there. Oh, it went back in. It's like a, a, a snake or a turtle. <laughs> Here's my fun, messy kitchen. This is that snaking tool. We had to uh, wind up last night. That was uh, some problems. Like a million dirty dishes that need to get done. It's just a disaster. A total disaster. But it's all because we don't have like plumbing. It's definitely working better today and yesterday since Xavier did it. But I'm scared to, you know, run it, the dishwasher, until we know for sure. Because I don't want, you know, a backup somewhere. Ooh, there's a coffee cup there for me. Xavier's on the roof doing some vent thing, learning way more about uh, plumbing than I had ever wished to know. You might know, but did I didn't, that there's a vent on your roof that sewer gases come out of or something like that. I could be totally wrong, but he's going to sneak it with the hand snake first to see if that's good enough. It's fun stuff, right? I mean, everyone wishes they could be a homeowner to do all this stuff. We've owned the house for like a month and a half now. And we're snaking the plumbing on the roof. It's fun. Everyone should own a house. I mean, this is really exciting, and I know you really want to see all this. We're about to uh, do another run in the restroom. 
to see if we can get anything. He worked on it last night. Everything seems to be better, but we wanna um, try it again before we have to return this machine. Let me tell you, this is fun stuff. That's where the toilet was. Okay, so we are back from Home Depot. We ran there and returned the auger thing. I don't know if that's the right thing, the snake, the electric snake. I don't know, whatever it was, we returned it. We had it for like almost 24 hours. And then uh, I think we got through everything because the toilet's flushing in the other room. I don't know, hopefully everything's better. Um, and then we bought a seal to put the toilet back on. And then I bought a piece of weather stripping for the door here. There's like a spot, ah, you see down there where it's broken. And I bought a piece the other day, but it wasn't the right one. It was like some double thing. I didn't know that they came in so many choices, but I'm pretty sure today I got the right one. because I know you all care so much we're out here looking for this um clean out I didn't know what a clean out was until like this week but supposedly it should be by this outdoor spigot here and we found some pipe but that's the pipe that brings the water inside and we've like used this thing that my neighbor gave me to it's a I don't know a pole checker or something to look for it and we're still not finding it we really don't think this house has a clean out I know I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody because for sure it doesn't make sense to me so uh, the toilet got put back on and everything flushes well with the toilet and then we turn down the tub everything goes down great with the tub but then all the water started backing up into the sink so now we're going to take apart the sink. So Xavier started loosening these pipes and water immediately started coming out. So he's just getting some more buckets. At Aldi, getting some groceries now. Now we're headed into Target to pick up the few things that Aldi did not have. So it is like 7.30 and I am totally exhausted. We spent like all low battery. We spent like all day working on the toilet and the plumbing and the sinks and the drains and whew, and just looking for like where this dumb clog is. And it's just like so dumb. We did get the toilet back on. Um, I don't know what's going on with the sink because I don't know, it seems to be okay now. I don't know, I'm running the dishwasher because it has dishes in there that are like been in there for a few days now because I've been scared to run it. So that's being run. We, I ran to Target, we ran to Aldi, we got groceries for the week, um, got some, I don't know what else, oh they had bug spray on sale, like clearance, that was a good deal, some grill tools. Um, I think I hear someone getting a plate. Use a paper plate! And you know we got a uh, we're using paper plates now, and I'm not a paper plate house because, you know, I don't want to run a dishwasher if I don't have to or wash dishes. So we're just doing that. And, um, oh, so we got, we went to Target, we went to Aldi, got groceries, got some girl stuff from Target, got some bug spray was on clearance, got creamer, paper plates, um, a lighter for the grill. We don't have a lighter. Um... I don't know. I cleaned up the kitchen while I was unpacking the groceries. The kitchen table's clean. 
the boxes that were in there are cleaned off. The dishwasher's running. One side of the sink has some dirty dishes. There's a tote of dirty dishes in there too. That's really disgusting. Um, the living room definitely is on tap to get cleaned soon. Not right now, but we're gonna eat dinner. Kinda it's just like pushing things into the right spot, putting things into their home. There's a dog, you hear her? She's like, click, 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 click. Okay, I'm gonna eat dinner. We're gonna have burgers and some, I think, leftover coleslaw. Wanna see what else I got at Aldi? Can I make this smaller? They had this like spray mop. And you can put whatever you want for spray in there. I thought that was pretty cool. And all of our floors are like these vinyl floors, so I thought we could definitely use this. Oh, and all the pads here are, uh, all the pads are washable. And even this thing comes off. And it's washable too.